I'm Margaret Batichuk, and I knew Frankie, I guess I first met him, I was an understudy in Norma Miller's Jazz Dancers, and um, we were rehearsing, and Frankie came in to watch one day, and so that's how I met him. And I'm also one of the founders and people that ran the New York Swing Dance Society. I hired the bands and um, was one of the people that set that up at the Cat Club. So Frankie started coming to our dances at the Cat Club. And um, I started performing with Frankie at different things and also like at the Lincoln Center event. And he then started teaching, um, like doing the New York Swing Dance Society performance group. So I was in that group and um, he would do the Shim Sham and I learned the Shim Sham and we would I would do that with Frankie and, and other people were learning it. So um, I asked him if he would be, well, first I had to ask the Swing Society board, there were 10 of us, if, if it would be a good idea. I had this idea that maybe we could do the Shim Sham at every dance. It was a weekly dance on Sundays. And I would ask Frankie if he would lead it. And so some people thought, well, wouldn't be that great an idea because it would take people away from their dancing, you know, and they want to just dance and they wouldn't want to watch the Shim Sham or do the Shim Sham. But I said, well, I think it would be fun. And also I'd gone to California to the US Open and sometimes a couple of the old timers would get up and they'd be introduced. I forget if it was Dean Collins or somebody and they would do the Shim Sham as just a little performance for the audience, you know, for everybody there at, at the big event. So I said, it'd be fun if we could do it at every dance. So they finally said, well, okay. So I asked Frankie and he said, yeah, sure. He, you know, he would do it. He would lead the Shim Sham. And then, so we started doing the Shim Sham at every dance. Um, and if Frankie wasn't in town, then I, I, I would lead it. And um, we, or if I wasn't there, you know, people got to know it. So we did it every dance at the top of the third set and all the band, and, Frankie requested uh, Stomping at the Savoy. That was the song we did it to. So at the top of the third set, the band would play the Stomping at the Savoy and everyone would line up and do the Shim Sham and we'd do it facing the audience. Like like we were with the band, like the band was behind us and we would face, face the audience and, and do the Shim Sham and everyone loved watching it. And then people would learn it and get behind us and you know, try to figure it out and do it with us. So it was, it was something that we did every um, every dance. And then when Frankie traveled, he kind of took that tradition around the whole world. And everybody, you know, was doing it and, and does it now. So it was, it's really fun.